candor crafters and happy new year welcome back to another video if you are one of my loyal subscribers you already know that i like to jump right into it so that's exactly what we're gonna do the supplies you need are pretty self-explanatory but i just wanted to show you and i also wanted to note that i am using the Cricut brand of the holographic vinyl and with this particular vinyl you need strong grip transfer tape trust me trust me trust me this is what you need like it will make your life so much easier I tell y'all all the time that I make mistakes so you guys don't have to so yes strong grip transfer tape All right, so to kick off this project, you wanna make sure that your images are no greater than three inches. I'm using 21 ounce cups, so if you have anything smaller, you may want to go a little bit smaller, probably 2.5, but nothing greater than three inches. I am using my Cricut Joy because everyone who knows me know that I hate cutting out small projects on my maker but you can use any of your cutting devices your maker your air explorer or even your silhouette or a joy like me and since this is not um smart vinyl i have to use my cricut joy mat so i'm just making sure that my vinyl lays nice and flat on the mat then i just feed it through and let it do its thing Once my Cricut Joy finishes, I just cut around my images so I can save my scrap pieces of vinyl. And then it's time to weed. Now when you have thin letters like I do, you have to be really, really careful because the letters do tend to come up when you try to take the excess vinyl off. So be very, very careful. And even if your letters do come off, you can always place them back. Like, you, you can. As long as you don't lose them, you can always place them back. And um, I always cut mine on more pressure so I can have an outline on the paper. And that's how I know where to put my letters if they do come up. Also, don't forget to weed inside of the letters because I know a lot of newbies forget to weed inside the letters. Rookie mistake, it's okay. It just looks so much cleaner when you do do that. So... Just don't forget pro tip. For the first cup, I definitely mismeasured the transfer tape. And honestly, I was going to cut this part out, but nobody's perfect and i want some transparency when it comes to my page so it's okay if you miss a little part of your image when um transferring especially when you have cursive like if it wasn't cursive like i probably would need an extra piece but since it's all combined anyway i don't need an extra piece to go over the s that i miss and it's okay we're not perfect but it still came out how it was supposed to be. I cut some slits in between the lines just to make it easier because, you know, with curved items, it's it's going to be a little bit more challenging. So I put the slits on in between the letters on the sides to help lay down my image to make it a bit flatter and just easier to work around as you can see like this part is definitely easier to show you better than I can tell you so yeah I did two cups like this so hopefully that can help and you can get a visual of what I'm talking about
and here is the finished product honestly i love this project because it's quick and it's easy especially for newbies who just got a cutting machine this is the perfect project to do to you know get your feet wet you can save it for yourself or you can even gift it to someone else i personally just pair it with a personal bottle of wine and i send it on its merry way and honestly it's a big hit for the people i give it to so if you like this video like share and subscribe until next time my kinder crafters